Hello everyone, Kevin Dennis, Tech Services with Werner Fall Protection here with another Tech Talk. And today's topic is roofing kits. So the roofing kit or roofing system is probably the most versatile system out there. Residential roofs, flat and sloped roofs, commercial roofs, natural slopes, and several other applications. So it's versatile, but it's also one of the most misused. So we're gonna review the fundamentals of installation and use on a residential type roof. Each roofing kit will come with three basic parts, a harness, anchor, and a lifeline with a rope adjuster and energy absorbing lanyard. The harness is straightforward. Inspect it before each use, put it on and adjust it to fit. I wanna spend most of the time on the anchor and the lifeline. So starting with the anchor, this is the A210-400, also known as the butterfly or hinge anchor. It mounts onto the peak of the roof, flush to the sheathing. So new construction, no problem. Existing roofs, you may have to remove shingles or other roofing material. It gains its strength by connecting to the truss underneath the sheeting with 12 three inch wood screws or 12 three inch nails and being pulled in the same direction as the truss. So some things to note are, number one, install all 12 of the screws and nails by hand, no nail guns, and take care to make sure that you capture the truss underneath. Any blown out nails or screws will weaken the anchor. Number two, pull the anchor within 22 and a half degrees of center. So a, a 45 degree range of movement, 22 and a half degrees to either side of the anchor. It gets weaker the further out of range you get. And number three, you may need more than one, depending on what you're doing. New construction, you should have them every eight feet to give each person an anchor and get as much range of movement as possible. If this anchor doesn't suit your needs, look at the A210-403, the chain roof anchor that installs with six pre-drilled three-inch lag bolts that will give you 5,000 pounds in any direction. Moving on to the lifeline, it connects to the anchor using the snap hook on the end of the rope. The lanyard and rope adjuster connects to the harness. The rope adjuster is the key to using this system. It can be opened and moved anywhere along the length of the line which means properly adjusted, you can stay in travel restraint for a large percentage of your work. When you start moving away from the anchor, the system also has an energy absorber, so it will work for fall or rest applications as well. The key to using the roofing system is planning the work to have enough of the anchors in the right spot installed correctly and keeping the rope adjuster adjusted with the lanyard as short as possible. These are the highlights. There's more to the system than will be covered here in a few minutes. So read the instructions supplied with the kit, download them at wernerco.com and reach out to Werner or your local rep if you have any questions.